Okay, first thing we observe is um, this whole thing is scattered. Well, it kind of makes a little sense uh, because it's cleaner, but it's scattered. But let's clean it up more. So this is on courses uh, index page. So let's go to um, app database resources views courses and we're looking at index page but you know index page uses the table all right imports table so we'll go to table and in table we're starting to see where the problem is the first thing is photo okay second thing is title but we don't need it to write title for us so we remove title here and uh, we can reload now this counts price is mixing up with something else we're not sure something a url so here video url is not supposed to be there refresh for reload and um guess what we have so far cool we now have the title there's a discount price the actual price and um i think what we have to do is a smarter way to design this and that would be to put two of them at the same place let's say this is what i mean um i don't have to just put price no need to put any tag on top of anything all right so i just remove the price discount price actual price okay i'll remove actual price we don't need that column uh discount price we we'll remove one of them i'll copy this Put it directly on top of this then put it inside h3 h3 tag h3 tag now the thing here is um i think this h2 tag is too big see this title is too big i think uh it, it can be smaller so i want to put it at h3 h3 all right so now uh we have to do a strike through for this one to show that it's cancelled um can I still remember? I can remember the HTML tag for strike. I'll find it. Okay, let's see first. I think it's called strike through. Okay, um, you can see now that stuff has cleared up and then um, the price is now here very beautifully I think it's strike I don't know why it's not pulling up here I think this is strike strike so strike strike and um, we're gonna have to put a sign here maybe the currency sign dollar sign or whatever sign we'll reload this See, makes a little more sense here but the other thing is that this thing needs to be pushed to the extreme so we want to make sure that the width of this is 80 percent so we can do width 80 percent you see makes a little more sense a little more sense okay so i think there's a double strike through this one is just single strike through i think i think there is a double strike through or del okay double strike through oh so, um what we're gonna do is um let's just say for a double strike through let's do something smart first so right here um let's say style first what i noticed is that okay i can just the margin button what i noticed is that um it's too wide the the space here is too much I'm trying to reduce it uh didn't work mm. Like I promised, if I don't want to spend so much time on design, but here we can use Dell 
to achieve a double strike row, I'll put a dollar sign here and then we can also do style oh I think this is why it didn't work style equals uh, then we can now do text decoration style text decoration style we can do double okay so this is one cool way to achieve a double strike strike, uh, strike throw okay yeah you see something like that so you see the main price and the um, the formal price now you can do a little more um, stuff by moving it to the right and or adjusting I think I should have done something like padding padding left 10 pixels so do your own design in your own way and find you see what works for you all right uh, for me I think this is okay another way you can do this is do line through you see I think this is neater the $80 but it was formerly $100 and of course we can paint it a different color if we want it's um, it's uh, it's up to you to choose what uh, design works best for you all right any design that works best for you it, it's great okay now what we're gonna do is to I think this makes sense then the distance between these two is too much too so we're gonna do the same thing we did here margin so right here we're gonna give it uh, this and we refresh yeah the other details we could put right below this but um, I think for now this kind of makes sense for us all right now uh, going forward we want to make sure that only admin can see any of these controls only admin okay only the owner can edit only admin can okay admin and owner can edit and delete all right so we can go to courses um, go to index so index has table so go to table table at the bottom here you see those buttons we just talked about and then notice that they are inside a form all right the first one is view the view button that's the first one let me show you you see courses show all right and it's a link it's a link so we just need it to be in the title I'm copying it out I put it in the title where is that the course title yeah the course title should be clickable so I'll paste, paste it and then do some modifications for instance there's not a button so I'm gonna remove everything about class here um, remove this too remove this too and um, this is okay for now let's refresh you see so this is now clickable now it's left to you to do more um, CSS for instance you could if you wanted a different color you can do style color black which is something I would have preferred. I would have preferred the color and a black, something like this. But um, it's okay. Let me leave it as what it is. Okay, I think I should remove this BR tag too, so that there will not be too much space here. Okay, beautiful. Now, um, you can click on this to view. Nice, very, very nice. Uh, remember that there, there's supposed to be a picture here we've not worked on but it's okay we can uh, always do that uh, going forward but I think this kind of makes sense already
part. All right, we're good. We're generally good. Um, depends on any other thing you want to add, but uh, this is generally okay. In the as we go forward, we make sure that when we click on a course, it will open the course and display the course much properly. All right, that's just what we we'll have to do going forward. Thank you very much. See you. So guys, how are you doing? Um, I still feel that this is too big though. I think it's too huge. Uh, one thing I can do is to reduce it to H4. And, um, H4. Like I told you, you can always work on the color. I'm not comfortable with the color, but I don't want to spend too much time on on design. Uh, yeah. uh, so you go do it yourself. So I think this is a better size. Now, what we're going to do is to make sure that only ad admin and the person that created this course can see this, all right? So we're going to remove this action. I don't need to see it. Then down here is where the buttons are. This is where the bo those buttons are. So right here. I want to make sure that only admin can see this. So how do we do that? It's simple. We're just going to do an if statement. Remember how we used to do it? If the currently logged in user, this is the currently logged in user in Laravel. The role ID of the person, right? The role is less than three. Then they are either a moderator or an admin, all right? So let's end if we end if so this way only an, an a moderator or an admin can see this but we want the person that created this course to see it too so we can do or the course user id course the user id that is the id the id of the person that created this course user underscore id is the same thing with the currently logged in user so i don't want to type that i'm just going to copy it this is the currently logged in user id see so the person that is logged in if it's the same person that created this course show this or if the person that is viewing this is an admin show this beautiful and um, hope we've saved and we go all the way reload Okay, um, I'm the person that created this, that's why I'm saying it. Okay, uh, other things we could do is to display the name of the creator. We can display the name of the creator. For instance, uh, remember how we could do that? Right here, maybe underneath, maybe just here. We could do something like this, just to... Then we're gonna do course user. Then we're going to do name. I think we had name there. I can't remember, but I think we had a name column. All right, so we have username. Then, so but remember how we did the other one? We have to tell this course model that how it is related to the user model. And the way it is related is that um, a user can have many courses, right? Every course can only belong to one user. That's the way it is. So to do that, so for this to work, we need to get right all the way back to app controller. We are heading to the model, the course model, right down here. The way we told it about the category, I think um, I should want to do this one. We need to tell it about the model, the user. Tell it um, um, a course belongs to a user. So in case you're wondering how I came about all these things, you should just go to Laravel documentation and uh, you go to database relationships. You understand a whole lot about it. Take your time and read it. Laravel documentation under database under eloquent ORM. This is eloquent or click on relationships 
and just relax and read it is it's very important that you read and understand all right just read read through read through the different kind of relationships uh, try and just see what the examples are it's very good that you do it as we go ahead all right okay so we have this now with this user it's possible to display the name so let's refresh and see reload the name of the author should appear here you see dave so i think this makes sense so uh, anybody seeing this course will automatically know who created it another thing we can do is to put it on there which i think is a little better um i can't even find a table again so to find it i'll just go to resources courses table and uh, the name i think this one should just be under it if i give it a br to put it under it the course description All right, and um, put this one in spam. Spam. Spam, okay, or D. Plus. Text muted. I think you see it makes more sense. You see, it looks nice. The only other thing is that um, there's too much space here. Um, I keep trying to avoid avoid doing a lot of design so that um, we focus more on Laravel rather than Bootstrap. But um, sometimes you can't just get away with. Yeah, this is cool. You see. We now know the name of the author. Other things we can put is subscriber count. How many people have um, subscribed? So you know how to do that. We're going to do subscriber count. Subscriber underscore count. So before we put a subscriber count, we have to um, check if it exists. So I'm going to do an if. If. Um, Because I don't want to display zero students, all right? I want to start displaying when there's at least one student. If there's no student, don't display anything. That's what I'm trying to achieve. So we're going to do with course subscriber count. If the subs subscriber underscore count of this course is less than is um, less than one, okay? That is if it's less than one is zero, obviously. Let's say and if. Or let's say if, if it is greater than zero, this makes sense more. If it is greater than zero, then display a pipe bar. This pipe bar, this up um straight bar or straight line is called pipe bar. It's above the it's above the set the enter key on my keyboard. So check where it is on your keyboard, it's above the enter key on mine. So do pipe bar then we'll write subscriber count sub students subscribers students anyone then we'll put subscriber count but we can just toss it in there let's make sure that if it is above 1000 it will start putting comma all right so we'll put number formats if it's normal to the php we'll do something like this number format then we'll paste so if you're writing any PHP code and you want to write numbers and you want it to automatically put comma every three numbers, you use number format. So this is cool now. So it's not going to show because uh, we don't have subscribers on this course yet. So I don't expect it to show. See, it didn't show. But just to test what we did, just to test, all right, we're just going to do less than one or less than anything all right just to see what it looks like 
you see says um, students so I think we should instead of just putting in here we should put um, author instructor 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 Dave all right and then instructor Dave student zero whatever 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 yeah we can put all those um, details here so this is just one way to put all that you can put views all right you can put views and so on the way we just did subscribers you can do another each statement to do views so it depends on uh, how you want to design yours so if i wanted to do views i'll duplicate this remember that this is um if it is above zero if it is above zero our student format view count I say only if it is above zero so we can see views so this makes sense for me I think I've just done well here I congratulate myself like a boss so the next thing we have to do is to go see how the inside of the course looks like if you click on this you see that this is a whole mess like the course contents there's a description there's a about instructor there's play playlist url the user doesn't ne never has to see this all right then there is um all these other blah, blah 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 it doesn't look cool so what i would suggest is we clean up this uh, what do you think do you have any other alternative all right now there are no other suggestions we have to clean up this so this is in uh courses folder slash show so we'll go to courses folder and we're looking at show but show usually imports something show imports imports show fields so we we'll look at we we'll look at show fields that's where we see this we we'll start removing things we don't want example we don't want the id what are we doing with the course id no um we don't want it i don't think we want it then user id no who, who needs a user id we don't we just need to know the name of the author right remember how we did the other one the way we did it was we just did course user then we did name name is the field in users table all right then call it author or instructor if we refresh there's no author but what i don't still understand is why they're on the same line but i'm going to change that for them very soon so we're going to do call md6 let's see if that works six means uh, of course that's basic bootstrap it means it should take half of the screen all right author dave category oh cool i think it, i like the way it's spread out now so we're gonna do six on each of them which means they will take up half of the screen each some of them not all category and the title shouldn't take up half of the screen subtitle yeah so author and category okay so i want the title and subtitle to come first and uh, to do that title and subtitle should come first and there is title and there is subtitle at the same time i want them to occupy code md12 access 12. i want it to be 12 on all screen i should have used access here let's see Okay, see the title stays on its own line, the subtitle stays on its own line. Of course, instead of putting the title, we should just remove title and make this bold. What do you think? And um, instead of putting title this way, we should just make this H1. Let's see how big H1 will be. Uh, if it is too big, we'll reduce it. 
boom. Mm, is this too big or not? I don't know. But it's looking okay, partly. Well, H1 is good for um, SEO, like the Google search engine bots, they're looking for H1 tag. So instead of changing to H2, we can just uh, manually reduce the size. But I think this, this is fairly okay. Then the subtitle, we don't need to put subtitle, we just need to add subtitle directly below. So this is the subtitle. Delete this. Uh, put it directly below this one. And uh, let's see first what this looks like. I think this is okay. This is okay. We're good. Now we need to uh, worry about the category. What category is it in? So instead of displaying one, we want to act display the actual category. Let me show you how we're going to do it. Remember how we did it before? We just basically did category, then we did um, name. Because in the model, we've already linked it. Course category name, let's see. You see, e commerce. Beautiful. Now we also need to make it a link so that somebody can click on it and go and see all the courses under this category. I think that is super, super duper smart. To do that, I'm just going to copy what I have here. And then we'll start typing. Create a link A, which way? And um, we need a smart way to link to this. But before I do that, I just want to do this. Um, let me show you that it's now a link. Oops, there is a mistake somewhere. Okay, yeah, here yeah, because we didn't close the A here. The A. All right, you see, it's now a link. Now, but the link is not going anywhere because we've not actually linked it. So now we have to type out a way to link it. So this is going to categories categories the exact category it's category id so it's going to categories slash the category id of this so let's test that this actually does what we want it to do i refresh uh, it has finished refreshing if i click on it now it takes me exactly where i want to be you see it takes me to this category with this description and then the list of courses under this category is what this is the first course under this category don't you think this is awesome i think it is awesome i think it's awesome wait what did i write here? instructor hmm. it's actually instructor uh where did we see that table instructor i'm, I'm thinking i should just call it author uh, in case well the course is a book right author Beautiful author did it. You see? Now if we click on this, we'll get right back to this course. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is amazing. This is just amazing. This is one of the most beautiful things about programming. In programming, you create something and you marvel at what you create. Alright, remember that you can also play around with your own design in your own way. But uh, for now, um, right here, we could start. We could we could do what we did before, like add how many um, subscribers and how many uh, views to this course, all right? And then we can make it available to only the the instructor if we want. So we are at, at Sheffield. Sheffield sounds like Sheffield in London. So Sheffield. And uh, we're looking at here, we could do this kind of thing and put subscriber and views. So we have this, and I'm thinking right here. I think I should put a, a, a tiny little div or above, below, below, below is okay. Class, do you remember the class text meeting? Then we'll paste D 
the so I copied this from the other one we did. I hope you saw when I copied that. Subscriber count zero students. Yeah. Okay. We'll reload. We should see it somewhere here. And uh, of course, they are not showing because there is no student or subscribers yet, according to how we wrote the code. All right, now we have description. One thing you can notice about this description is it is too much. It is shooting outside. You see? So I think we should just shorten it so it will be easy to read. I think we should shorten it to somewhere here. So I'll put this at 8, right? I'll make the description. Um, description. I'll make it co accept. Oh. Co MD 8. Then copy. The next one should be eight. The next one about tags, I think, should be eight. Creator status, admin status. What is student line? This should be eight. Target students should be eight. Requirements should be eight. Discount price, uh, view count, subscriber count. We don't need this too. Deleted that, we don't need this. Created that, updated that. Uh, now we have to refresh. So now it's looking like something cool. So description is now easy to read. About instructor is easy to read. Um, and I'm thinking that we should make this a link and uh, the about instructor may or may not be here. I don't know what you think, but we have to, in case it is left empty, we, we don't have to display it, all right? Then there's the playlist URL. We don't have to show it. And then there's the tags. Yeah, these tags, we eventually have to use um, Ajax to make these tags links, all right? And then what else? So this tag will be links. If somebody clicks on it, we'll use something like Elasticsearch to uh, search the whole platform and display all the courses that have these tags. What will student learn? Beautiful. Target students, beautiful. Requirements, beautiful. Updated that. Then we have to work on this and even the discount price. Okay, so let's fix the last things that are remaining. Uh, the video promo, video URL, um, is not supposed to be here so I'm just going to promo I'm just going to remove it for now I'll comment it out I'm looking for it I'll comment it out because we might just need it so if you're using VS code if you want to comment something out after highlighting it you press control question mark on your keyboard then it will comment itself out then the, the ones at the top I think more can enter for instance where we have um, where we have author and category, there's too much space here and there's too much space here. I think I should break them into. Um, I think I should add one more item here. So, uh, what I am looking for is um, author. So A U T uh, author. So you see, it's column six. I think I should have just made it column four. Then, if it's column four, then three can enter. For instance, the updated at um i think the updater that can enter call call md4 all right um up here up here call md4 let's see how four looks otherwise we'll make it 3 3 each so this makes perfect sense i think uh we could still uh, sneak in something else here so I will make this uh, three, make this three, make this uh, three. Then we'll go to the bottom and get the created at and um, add it there, right there, and make it three two. So call MD, call MD three. So let's go look at what it looks like. Refreshing. 
Beautiful. I think uh, this kind of makes sense to me. We could we could easily handle this this way. Uh, you could just choose your own design. I totally want to leave that up to you. But um, instead of updated, that I'll say last updated, created. Um, I think created should be somewhere up there. Or we could just make them on their own separate line. Um, depending on how you want to design yours, I'm just trying not to spend too much time on design. Um, I can have them here. Cool MB6. Cool MB6. Six, then six, then six. Then we can reduce their size generally. Everything reduce the size to make them look better. Okay, I think this this makes more sense. What do you think? Instead of created that, um, created on at updated at last updated. last updated so i think generally this makes sense uh you take your time you do your own designs the way you want like i would have uh, personally uh, wanted all this to be tiny compared to the other details this one uh playlist url i think we've removed it and if it's not out i'll tell you why promo video okay playlist url in laravel in html this is how to comment out html right but in laravel this is how to comment out laravel you have to put this curly brackets twice then you put this dash dash twice and then you do it in the ending otherwise um sometimes this does not always work in laravel okay so we're looking for promo what playlist url playlist url uh, since we don't need it and we might need it going forward, I'll just copy it and um, put it where we had the promo URL. This place we commented it out. I'll put it right here. Okay, cool. It's commented out now. Let's see what else is remaining. Reload. Um, photo. If there's any picture for the course, do we need it here? I doubt we don't need the picture here. Uh, creator. We already have creator. So let's say photo. So basically what we're doing is just cleaning up what's left. So this is photo. We don't need cost photo, do we? I doubt that we need it. I really doubt. I really doubt that we need it. Okay. And then um, creator. What is creator doing there? Creator status. Oh, whether it's up or not. Creator and admin status so um we're gonna have to put it up where only admin and creator can access it so what we have here is uh, okay so here i'm gonna do something that only admin and if at um if the person uh watching this page is um an admin role underscore id if the role id is less than three that means it's a moderator or an admin or if they are the creator if the person watching this page id is the same person that created it so we're gonna do course user id course i'll just copy this changes to user underscore id so if it is the same person, then uh, display this to him. So, but here only admin can see this. And if double this and if. So let me explain what I quickly did. So here I want admin and the person that created this course to see this, but then I want only admin to see this. So this is the admin status. Whether admin has approved it or not, uh, that's what I want to see here. All right, but then normal students wouldn't see uh, this. Uh, these two. I think um, the creator of the course should also be able to see that. 
I think the creator of the course should also be able to see that admin has approved this course. I think, yeah. Okay, I think we're going, we're doing good. And now we have to do that call MD6. If you don't do it, the whole thing will be scattered. Call MD6, call MD6. Reload. It's reloading. And there with us, creator status, admin status. So instead of one, we want to call it on, all right? Uh, that was a mistake we made when we were creating it, but now we have to bear the consequences by writing the code. So the red little code we're going to do here is if uh, the creator status is equal to one, then write on. Creator status is equal to one, then write on. Otherwise, else. And, um, and if okay I like stuff like this so I'm just gonna remove this so this makes sense now so we're gonna do the same thing here in the p tag I just copied what I did above then paste now I've pasted I use my tab to adjust them beautiful and then I can do admin status instead of creator status and delete this so if you think this is a little cumbersome uh, you won't imagine what it would have been if we hadn't used use the um, the creator the laravel generator it would have been hectic creating this page alone so now you see it's now on on all right you could write more code for instance to make it green when it's on and red when it's not Another code you could write is to put a, a button here that says on off, okay? So when it's on, there'll be a button that will show off. If the person clicks on it, as if admin clicks on this, it should quickly off it, all right? I think that's the next code we should write. A simple um, code that says if it is on, then do a href. Um, let me put hash there for, for now. And uh, we're gonna do plus equal to um, button button danger button small small is it excess small okay so we've created a small button i want to put it on a separate line so we can see what's happening so we've created a small button then i'll close the ahf okay now i've closed it now we can right what will be on the button and uh, what i want to be on the bottom is off so if we refresh you see so it's on uh you can click this to off it so when it is off i want to see on instead okay so when it is off i want to see or click to on click to approve click to i think approved would have made sense approved click to disapprove is this the correct spelling of disapprove i don't think so double p disapprove okay so approve the click disapproved click to approve beautiful so this is what I'm talking about it's a click to disapprove now this click to disapprove I want only admin to be able to see that okay so click to disapprove should be seen by only admin so I'm gonna copy the code for only admin here so if it is approved cool I'll do an if statement here. Okay. And if. So only admin tab key. Tab tab pull. Another tab. I think it makes sense. Okay, alright. 
So only admin can see this click to disapprove button. Let me show you. If I refresh reload, this should disappear because I'm not viewing as an admin. You see, it's gone. Same thing here. If it is disapproved, only admin should be able to see click to approve. So I'm copying this code and pasting here. Only admin should be able to see this. All right, now this is looking beautiful. Only uh, the normal, or the person that owns this course will be able to see this approved and disapproved, but only admin can see this button that is supposed to go disapprove or go approve it. Now we have to write some code. For instance, uh, we need this button to actually work. Like if admin clicks approve, is it this button should actually do the approval. And the approval is simple. Go to this course page, find this, um, particular course and find the ad, uh, admin status and change whatever it is there to one now let me show you how to write that custom function so you see um, we need to make this a form uh, and instead of us writing the form code I want to remember remind you that there is a place we saw form because I'm lazy I'm just gonna go there and copy it on table all right you go to table of any of the folders you will see form at the bottom you see this is the way they created a form. This is where you create a form in Laravel so that it will work easily. So I'll copy this code. Copy. All right. Then I'll get back to where we were, show fields. Uh, I'll start with the first one. Paste. I've pasted it. Let me uh, zoom in the middle. So we're going to cause this. Um, this is a route courses i think we should call it approve right disapprove because this is click to disapprove we have not created this um link right see i just want to make sure that i'm spelling this thing correctly before i make mistakes yes we're good so we're gonna disapprove we're going to create a route all right that is called courses.disapprove we've not created it yet um and then we're going to pass in this all right and the method will not be deleted to be let's say post it's gonna be post all right now just to give you an example if you've not created any route and you come to refresh a page without creating the route you're gonna see an error a big error as big as your head all right so we come here and put the closing of the form while that page is refreshing I'll get back to that page look at the closing of the form and um, come here and put the closing of the form I like to indent my code very neatly so if you download this code it will be so neat so neat all right you see very neatly very neat okay now um, while that page has finished refreshing let's see um, reload surprise surprise um, okay, yeah, the reason it's not throwing an error is because we commented this out with this uh, Unless an admin exists unless an admin is viewing that page this code will not run That's why well, this code is not running But if it tries to run it's gonna throw an error in case you ever see an error complaining of a route It's because you've not created the route now. I want to do the same thing for this second one before we move over to the route I'll just copy this Copy paste right here paste beautiful. So this one is gonna be approved beautiful and uh, we're gonna copy the course close form close and we are going to close it but this is not all because this is not actually a submit button so if we come here we see how um, they used they smartly used this as a button form button so I'm gonna copy exactly this and use it to replace what we already have okay um, so this one is just a link that says click to approve with button red but this is actually a button I'm gonna paste it it's long uh, you should just know where to edit all right so it's actually a button that has a class that has an icon okay an icon that says trash I think I'll call this thumbs up thumbs up if that exists 
and then if you want to find icons you go to bootstraps page you'll see icons these icons black icons then um, it's a submit right and um, the class button danger this is approved so it should be button um, I think it's success success is the green one on click it's going to pop up a greater pop-up that says are you sure you want to approve approve yeah that's what we want to see so we're gonna do the same thing for the one above here then I can now safely uh, remove this but before I remove it I want to type um, the text so I think it's called text so here we're going to say button click to approve click to approve so we can delete this and um, right here we can do the same thing just paste I've pasted it are you sure you want to disapprove and um, danger yes red is okay red is danger and here we are going to do right here we're going to say click to disapprove okay now we're let's test what we've done it's gonna still throw an error but bef so before we test it we need to go to to create the route remember where the routes are the route is in resource in um, routes web.php all right so we have web.php and um, here we have all the routes now we have I like to put routes together okay so here we have route for courses now I'm going to create routes for route um, post there are many ways to create route in case you you don't understand where I'm getting this from I'm getting it from the Laravel website there are several ways to create routes all right so let's see where it is um, basics middleware controller request not here routing that's what I'm looking for routing so that's where I'm getting it from. I have it offhand. That's why I just went straight to start typing. But you can uh, just come here, go through everything. As you can see, we're trying to create a post route. The reason it's post is because right here, we told the form that it's gonna go through post. You see, method post, method post, you see? So in the route web.php, we're just saying post, go to courses, uh, courses and then I think uh, we should have to put something but before then we're just going to put name uh, the name is courses the first one is disapprove is that not what we did then we're gonna tell you the controller the controller is going to be course controller course controller and then we're gonna do it again Double click post post and then we do this one for the approve if you're using a uh, vs code what i did was just ctrl c ctrl v that's how i duplicated the line okay this is for the disapprove this is for the approve but i also want to put slash uh instead of just slash let's just say let's tell it the function this is the function that will okay guys something funny happened um for the past five minutes this app has these um recorder has been off and I thought it was on so I was doing stuff thinking that it was recording before I now looked around and saw it wasn't recording so here's a summary of what I've done so far it's just small though um, I basically went to the routes folder went to the web.php uh, web and um, I saw all this list under courses I created these four these four lines now the first two lines are for what we created in the HTML just for to disapprove and approve and the next line is uh, we're supposed to create it in the HTML we've not done that yet but I already created it here so that we don't come back 
is for the owner of the course so that they can just click a simple button right here a simple button right here to uh, publish this course or unpublish it you understand so that the admin can uh, so that the owner can unpublish it in case they don't want the course to be live again so we just created that and we call that publish course unpublish course and it's still the same post now we went to the uh, this course controller by going to the app uh, HTTP that is app HTTP folder controllers folder and we found course controller and then at any random place uh, in the top here that's where I created it I created this function first of all what I did was create empty functions you see this is an empty function I call this empty function disapprove it, uh, it uh, um, accepts requests then uh, created publish course unpublish course these are functions that we just created here these functions publish unpublish uh, I think they should be course publish course unpublish course then we have a disapprove and approve cool uh, so we've created all these functions so I started writing code for the approve function and then in the approve function basically I'm just going to the database to uh, find the course ID which I've not created but it will be I'll add it to the HTML form it will be submitted to this and once we find the particular course that has that course ID we will then uh, update the admin status to one since it's approved and then we return redirect back all right then we can just um, say the message that they're going to return so I think um, instead of putting it that way we're just gonna say here flash success course approved successfully so it's going to go back to the page where the admin clicked that and uh, show this message. All right. That's what this line is basically saying. Beautiful. Now, um, before I proceed, I want to quickly go add this course ID here. There. Course ID in the uh, form. So I'll come here. Under approve. See, we have form button. So we can create a form field and make it hidden. All right. So let's say input type got a hidden hidden. All right, then we can add something like um, value. This is one way to do that. There are many ways you can you can uh, achieve uh, this. So the value is the name will be course ID name. course underscore id so this name right here is what we're fetching here that's what we're saying request basically says everything coming from the form look for the one that has the name of course id whatever the value is go to the database and search for it so we're here and uh, we're still coding so the value should be the course id right so i'll do something like this and paste this course id ID so this sorts our problem and I'll do that for this too the second one identical is just identical so that when this submit button when this button is clicked it also carries the ID of the form which we can use in our, um, our codes so this one is done the other things in your own case you could just do it to check for some other things but I think this is basically done. I'll copy it and duplicate for disapprove. In disapprove, we're just going to do um, set it to zero. All right, cost uh, disapprove. Uh, cost disapproved. Disapproved successfully. Um, I'll copy the same thing and do in publish course. Publish course, and I'll do um, um, creator status. I think creator status course published successfully that is if the creator tries to publish the course and we're gonna do the same thing for the unpublished so we'll do creator status zero course unpublished 
we've basically done that now and um, the only thing remaining is for us to create the HTML for the publish and unpublish. We'll simply copy the HTML we used here uh, since it already works. So I'm just going to try to copy everything in the approved. All right. And uh, we go to on off. Instead of on off, we can say publish, unpublish. I'll copy everything, paste here. And uh, instead of admin status, I'll call it creator status. Creator status. And. Um, I'll see published and um, unpublished unpublished that's not all um in the message here we're just going to look for the message here yeah click to publish and click to unpublish these basically um looks like it does exactly are you sure you want to un unpublish are you sure you want to publish so we've done everything um for this video um the only other thing that would have been there is just to test we reload it's reloading it's in publish but it's supposed to show me a button here it's not showing me because somewhere here I'm still doing this crazy stuff. No, what we should do is, um, I don't think we just need this. If the creator, yeah, it's going to, that's it. We don't need to check if it's an admin. So the creator should be able to see the publish and unpublish. So if we refresh, that pretty much does it. um disapprove not defined you see it's saying that disapprove does not exist our route causes disapprove but it does why isn't it saying it's go to web.php it's saying that causes dot disapprove it exists uh so why is it not saying that maybe because we need to rerun our we need to rerun our server because the thing is when you run your server it picks it takes a snapshot of what is in your and what's in your uh, route file so sometimes you just need to rerun our server so one first step to solving this kind of problem where you are sure it exists uh, is to rerun your server php artisan so okay so we can try and refresh now and um, it's still complaining so ladies and gentlemen it turns out that in as much as we had this in this version of laravel we also have to have a slash the same thing disapprove here and the same thing here we have to have a slash approve here and uh, which means we have to do it for the publish and unpublish unpublish course now you need to know that um, we didn't, we've not created this, so we need to get back to show fields here under the creator status. We need to make sure that what we have here is not disapproved. It is um, unpublish, unpublish course, and what we have here is publish course. All right, just need to make sure for this. The other one is uh, approve and disapprove. If we refresh, we'll see the same thing. You see, it now makes sense now. Makes perfect sense. Published. Click to unpublish. You can remove this pie bar. So I'm trying to round off this video um, quickly so that um, we can move over to other things. I think this makes some real sense. Beautiful. It's published. You can click to unpublish. So let's see. By clicking on publish, you see it's going to say, "Are you sure? Are you sure on publish? Really? Are you sure on publish? What kind of English is that? Are you sure? It's here. Are you sure on publish? No. Are you sure you want to? You want to? 
talk on publish are you sure you want to publish yes so in case you don't know english is my native language my native tongue the reason it's uh, the meaning of native tongue is a, is a language you started speaking from childhood not really uh, your mother tongue english is not my mother tongue but it's my native uh, uh, language or native tongue which means i can speak english just as well as anybody anywhere in the world but the only thing that would differ is my accent as you can hear <laughs> you understand what i'm saying so my accent is different from the, an accent of somebody in the uk or us or india but i know english just as well as anybody else okay so i cannot so which means i know when i'm making a mistake so click to unpublish are you sure you want to unpublish cool okay if we click okay it should refresh bring us back to this page with a message oops app controller cost not found um controller cost okay yeah the reason is because we didn't import it i'm just trying to make sure that everything works well here you're supposed to import your model so as you can see we imported app models category so we're supposed to duplicate and import course app models course so that's what why it's complaining i'll reload it's gonna ask me here beautiful you see it's on publish click to publish beautiful i think we've written a very nice code in this section now we can go to other sections in the next video and keep completing other things all right thank you very much uh, see you